Hugo, our first chance to introduce you to the wider masses of older shot supporters. Yeah. Uh, obviously, well, welcome from Thank you. behalf of everyone. But uh, how's you. it feel to now be settled in and having done a couple of training sessions? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, obviously, um, where I was before, we, my, my deal ran out and uh, I wanted to see what options were out there as well. Obviously, the, the travel came into it as well from where I live. And obviously, when Tommy rang me um, in the off-season and sold the older shot dream to me, I, it was a no-brainer for me because I've worked with Tommy a lot in the past. I know how he works. I like how he works. I know what he wants, and he knows that I know how to deliver it. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased to be here. Been in for two days now. Yeah, it's been great. The lads are great. We've got, obviously, some trialists in as well, uh, but we've had two good sessions. So yesterday, we just uh, we started everybody's engines, got them going again. Um, and then today was uh, a little bit tougher, but uh, it was all done in the context of football. So I'm really pleased with what I've seen from the players so far and their attitudes, their personalities. And uh, already, you know, they're, they're starting to understand straight away what we require from them. And uh, so I'm hoping it's going to be a good pre-season. Uh, you've come in, haven't you, as assistant manager alongside Rich, Richard sure. Dryden. But yeah. Tommy described you as a bit of a jack of all trades. You know, you've, you've been there. Well, master and, and, of none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, you've, Tom. You know, you've done... Yeah loads of stuff and you've had yeah. various roles even under Tommy so yeah, yeah. so what is it you, you know you're looking to, to bring to the well to the side? first and foremost I'm a coach yeah. all right um, but I'm also Tom's assistant so yeah. as I said I, I know how Tommy works and I also know how best I can support him and, and also with Richard as well on the other side of stuff you know I'm, I'm quite big on um, working with the I don't call him a sports scientist he's, a, he's now a football scientist all right, so I'm, I'm quite big at working with those guys and obviously alongside Liam the physio. So I'm, I'm really interested also and, and useful in, uh, I'm like the bridge between the, the football coaching and the football medical. I'm, I'm a good bridge in between as well. Listen, I, I love watching games, analyzing games. So I, I can bring, I'm hoping to bring quite a bit of that here as well, you know, so. But first and foremost, I'm here to help Tom and I'm here to help the players. And uh, that's, that's my role. As we mentioned, there's, there's been a couple of sessions now. Uh, you know, that's your first chance to really see a few of the lads that are here from last season. Obviously, you knew Aaron and um, Theo from your time at Kings yeah, Lynn, yeah, didn't yeah. you? But um, how, how have you found that, uh, seeing those lads that you know, have just been introduced to? Um, but listen, to be fair, they've ma I've been made very, very welcome. Um, if I'm honest, a couple of weeks ago, I created a WhatsApp group for all the players that are our players. And um, the group was a little bit quiet, so I livened it up a bit with a singing competition where the winner chosen by my youngest daughter received a very small cash prize. I'm not gonna reveal who the winner is because the person who came second was very unhappy about it because there's a little bit competitive between them, but basically uh, Loves was a bit annoyed with Tyler Gordon. <laughs> but my yeah, my, my youngest chose it. But so it was a little way of breaking the ice and everyone got involved in it and it was a good laugh. So when I walked in yesterday, it was, there was no ice to break as it were. There's one or two of them I know anyway. Uh, I know, I've known Jack Barham kind of for years as well. And it's funny, I said to, I remember about five years ago saying to Jack he was playing for, I think he might be playing for Dorking or something, I can't remember now, but he wasn't in the team. And I remember saying to him before the game, we were walking off the pitch, so why aren't you playing? And he, whatever it was. And, I, and we both agreed one day we're going to work together. And so, you know, here we are. So that, that's nice. And he's a, good, he's a good boy, Jack. And obviously the match action gets underway this weekend. Um, yeah. Is that when you kind of get a real, more of a feel of, of the squad and a, a bit more of the a look at yeah, the abilities? Yeah, it's... The next five, it's five and a half weeks now, it's about a gradual build up. So we want to be ready to go on whoever we're playing on August the 5th. So at the moment, if you're to look at it, like um, if, you, uh, if you can lift weight, say let's just say uh, we want the lads to lift 100 kilograms, but at the moment they can only lift 60. So between now and is whoever we play, we've just got to increase it to 65, to 70, to 75, to 80. Because right now they can't lift 100 kilograms. Right now they can maybe lift 60, 65. So a lot of my job between now and August the 5th is to make sure that we're bridging the gap each week uh, and that basically the lads are ready to lift 100 kilograms, as it were, on the 5th of August. So um, I'm one of these guys, I, I love pre-season. I hear so many managers and coaches saying, oh, I hate pre-season. I love it because it's the, it's the building of your foundations for the season and you know introducing uh, how you want to play to the players and working with them tactically as well as helping them uh, get fitter because that's a byproduct of, of playing football. Um, so yeah, I'm, it's me. I'm right now. I'm right in my element and I'm and I'm loving it.
Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.